Mark's wonderful world. And I've got a smelly story for you today. It's called Smelly Santa by Adam Blenderleaf. Mm, you might want to hold your nose because it's pretty smelly story. Believe you me. Shall we begin? This is Santa, but you already knew that, didn't you? However, one day Santa had a problem, a smelly problem, a very smelly problem. <laughs> you see, Mrs. Claus has a bumper crop of smelly sprouts to cook. So she made sprout soup, sprout pie, sprout lasagna, deep fried crispy sprouts, and even sprout chocolate cake. Santa loved the, the tasty sprout dishes, but unfortunately they did make him rather, well, windy. His mighty body burps frightened the reindeer. Melted the snowman. And even blew away some of the elves. Santa was getting worried. It was Christmas Eve and he was still full of smelly pumps. Doot, squeak, eep. Oh dear, I shouldn't have had that sprout curry last night, he whimpered. <laughs> Just then, Ellie the elf ran up excitedly. The present sack is packed, the sleigh is shiny and the reindeer are ready to roll. Santa goat, he knew it was time to go on. Santa climbed into the sleigh and waved goodbye to Mrs. Claus, who had packed him some sprout sandwiches. Safe journey, dear. I'll cook some super sprout stew for your return. Thank you, dear Santa sighed again. Off they flew into the sky, through the clouds, way up high. But just as Santa felt his tummy rumbling again, Ellie, the elf, appeared in Elf's help rocket. Is everything okay, Santa? You don't look so good. I'm fine. It's just a little uh, tummy trouble is all. But suddenly Santa's bottom made a big noise. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean, said Ellie, the elf. I think it's stopped now, said Santa. But Santa was wrong. <laughs> Suddenly Santa let out an almighty boom and the booming body blast sent the sacks of presents flying off the back of the sleigh. A blown away Christmas! No, 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 said Santa. The presents tumbled far and wide as Santa looked on in horror. What are we going to do? The children would be so sad. Oh dear, oh dear, he said worriedly. Don't worry, if anyone can fix Christmas, it's you, Santa, said Ellie. We have to search for every last present and fast, but we don't have much time. The children will be waking up soon. So Santa and Ellie flew as fast as they could down the ground and began searching for the presents. They had fallen absolutely everywhere. There were teddies on treetops, dollies on dumps, and toy cars on real cars. There were play sets on post boxes, roller skates on rooftops, and lollipops on lampposts. Finally all the presents had been rescued, but Santa looked worried. There's not enough time to deliver all the presents using just reindeer power. What are we going to do? Don't worry, said Ellie the elf. I made a phone call. Suddenly Mrs. Claus appeared with her super sprout stew. You can eat this and use sprout power. <laughs> he gobbled down the steamy stew in a flash. It was quite delicious. 
soon Santa was flying all around the world using the power of sprouts. <laughs> He put the presents under every tree for every boy and every girl, being careful not to wake anyone up with bottom noises. <laughs> Until finally the present sack was empty. They headed back home. Another Christmas saved! The next morning, little boys and little girls all over the world ran to the Christmas tree, squealing with delight to see what Santa had brought them for being very, very good. As they played with their presents, one little boy looked out the window. Mummy, why are the clouds green? He asked. I don't know, darling, said Mummy. But we do, don't we? I bet you could smell that story. Because it was a very smelly story. Yes, well, I'm going to have to go now. Yes, because, you know, I might even try some sprouts chew myself and have a smelly Christmas too. So, from next time, Womack's Wonderful World. Have a great Christmas. Try not to make it too smelly. Bye bye.